Thank you for tuning in. First, I'd like to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Ashley and Kel, your shout out drove my subscriptions up, doubling them. Those new subscribers, I'd like to thank you as well. I, I, I am just so overwhelmed. I am so pleased and I'm so excited and, and unfortunately everything's snowballing in my head. But you got to remember, I'm not formally trained. I'm not classically trained. I just love to cook. All right? I mean, I cooked for a couple of years when I was 18 years old. I'm 55 now. So anyway, so to show my appreciation for Cal, I'm going to make that dish. I'm going to show you exactly what she likes. She likes this chicken dish that's made with uh, just typical typical herbs and uh, dry herbs and uh, smoked paprika and some lime. The hardest thing about this is marinating it overnight. So stick around and, and check it out. Okay, so we start out with about, I don't want to say that this uh, family pack is about, uh, this is about five, uh, five pounds, you know, it, it's really best to use chicken thighs, alright, it's my favorite cut of the chicken, is this the thighs, it's just, there's enough fat in there to give it the flavor, um, it's thick enough, it's filling, and it's cheap. It's not on sale, and it was $1.19 a pound. You can get them on sale for $0.99 cents a pound. When, that's, when they're on sale for that, that cheap, I say get them and freeze them. All right. This is a very simple seasoning. Okay. Onion powder. This is a seasoning with a sazon. If you go into the Goya aisle, they have um, something similar in packets. It's the same stuff garlic powder, pepper, and this is the most important part, the smoked paprika. I'm holding off on the salt during the uh, marinating overnight because I don't want it to become too salty. You can do this two ways. You can put all this in a bag and then sprinkle it on. I like to put them on a pan, cover them with the seasoning, and then uh, let it sit for a bit and then put them in the bag shuffle it up a little bit make sure it's coated and then if I have to put more put more so you want to cover it you don't want to be too dainty but you don't want to be too heavy on it uh, that was the onion this is the garlic garlic and onion powder is probably in sazon alright so this is the only thing I would say kind of take it lightly just coat it enough to give it a little bit of color we're going to take some pepper if you want to add spice to it you can add some uh, hot pepper flakes now don't forget this is smoked paprika it's going to give it that smoky taste between the smoky taste and the lime that we're going to put in later, it, that's that's where all the flavors at. These um these thighs are relatively dry. I patted them dry a little bit after I deboned them. Oh, it's another thing, the boning. They don't sell them deboned, I, I believe, but I have a video. I'll I'll put a link to the video. Um, it's real easy. Uh, just you know, use a sharp knife. Garlic, onion, saison, pepper, and paprika. Now we're going to take. Ziploc bag. Now we're going to put them in the Ziploc bag. 
one by one. We're going to put a little bit of oil in there. The oil is going to make these dry seasonings kind of pasty and stick to the uh, to the chicken a little bit better. Some lime. So I'm going to take a lime. Before you cut this or you juice this lime, you want to uh, you want to zest it, and you just zest it. When you're zesting any fruit like this, you only want to go down to the white. If you get any of that white, it's called a pith. It's going to get it's going to get bitter. It ruins it. But getting just the green, you get all that lime flavor and just the green. So, we're going to put this in the chicken. First, we're going to juice. put the zest in there. And that's it. Now we're going to put it in the fridge overnight. It's best if you have it overnight. If you don't do it overnight, try to give it a, 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 as long as possible. It's the only way you're going to pick up that smoky lime flavor when you cook it. It's best if you grill, um, but what we're going to do is, is we're not going to grill up. What we're going to do is, is we're going to pan fry it and then we're going to finish it off in the oven. Okay, so it's the next day. We got our chicken, it's all marinated. Cast iron skillet if you have it, that's the best bet. And we're not going to, we're not going to cook them completely in the skillet, we're just going to brown them and then we're going to put them on a baking sheet. We've got the oven preheating at uh, 400 and uh, we're going to use some of our ghee that we made. I'll leave a link for that. And uh, this is what you're going to do. You don't want to overcrowd the pan. A pan like this, maybe four pieces, and that would be pushing it. So you had about a medium high heat. I turned them several times, and I think this is what I'm going to go for. So. You have you have a nice color on there. You don't want it to get uh, too brown. This is the second batch. Salt it a little bit. So now we're in the oven at, uh, at 400 degrees. We're going to keep it in there for about a uh, half hour and then we're going to check it. So it's been about a half hour and this is what we have. They're cooked through 
pretty nice. I'm going to let them sit. I've got some rice going in the rice cooker. Yeah, I didn't feel like making rice, so I did it in the rice cooker. And I'm going to mix some beans with it, and then I'm going to throw some of the sofrito that I made in. And I'm going to make uh, sort of like my version of rice and beans with a little sofrito. I'm winging this. So I took uh, a couple tablespoons of the uh, the grease from uh, from the pan from the chicken. Got a can of beans, rinsed. Yes, canned. This was a last minute thing. Two cubes of the sofrito I made last week that I froze in, in um, ice cube trays and then uh, after they froze I put them in um, Ziploc bags. Salt. The uh, cubes are starting to thaw. Now, when I made rice, I put uh, I put a coloring that I found in the uh, in the supermarket to make uh, yellow rice, and I also put about four pods of cardamom in there. I, I love to taste cardamom with rice. You can smell that sofrito, all the, uh, the garlic, give a quick taste. Can use some salt. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some uh, lime juice in it. Because I'm going to have it with that that smoked paprika and lime chicken. And that should be it. And that's our finished dish. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you try it. Uh, I'm sure you're going to like it. And uh, again, um, Ash, Joe, thanks for the shout out. Thanks for doubling my subscribers and subscribers. I'll do my best to make you happy. All right. So this is John Camp with the Nuts on Eat Chef. Until next time. Bye.